Marvel Rivals, the alleged Overwatch killer, Ominous. The most important thing for this game to get right, if it really wants to be a contender to Overwatch, are the designs, or more so, redesigns, since all of these characters kinda already exist. Let's get right into it. I'll be using a tier list, so S is the highest and D is the lowest. Iron Man is pretty unique in this game. It's not really like any other Iron Man design, but that's most of these redesigns. But in my opinion, he's a little too bulky. But, times two, I love the bright colors. This is a strong redesign. And this game just taught me that Iron Man's real name is Anthony. I don't know why I thought it was just Tony, but this definitely gets bonus points for exposing him like that. I'm feeling a strong seven. Wait a minute. Anthony Fantano? Anthony Stark? Anthony Starr? It's all connected! We live in a simulation controlled by the Anthonys! My god. A tier. Black Panther probably has the most faithful adaptation as to how much it redesigns. And it's pretty clean. I know, this is such transformative content. A tier. Honestly, I don't really mess with Spider-Man's design in this game. This reminds me of a Spider-Man action figure doll I had when I was younger. The lines are just too defined, and the colors are too dark. It might just be because of the game's art style, but I don't really like this all that much. C tier. What am I supposed to say about the Hulk? He's a walking testicle. If Total Drama can make those types of jokes, I can too, Mom. I don't know how you could really mess up Hulk's design. I am glad he has a belt, that's for sure. B tier. For the funsies, I'll rank Bruce Banner's redesign as well. I know I said twink a lot during my multiverses ranking, and I would just like to make a public apology. Because my god, this is what a twink looks like. Um, he kinda looks like you? Okay, be like that. Just because we both wear glasses, and we're both super tall, and have similar styled hair, okay, I'm gonna stop talking now, but... He just looks so weird, he kinda looks like Mirage from Apex, or Handsome Jack from Borderlands. His neck is so long, C tier. Doctor Strange's design in this game sure is pretty strange. I'm unaliving myself. My lawyer just called and told me that I probably shouldn't make those types of jokes anymore. So let's just make this design and move on. His design is pretty busy. He has more stuff going on than a 7th grader who thinks they're older than they actually are. That's a funny relatable meme, right? C tier. Now Loki is beating the twink allegations with this design, and I'm here for it. His design is pretty good. I like it. I actually might prefer the bulkier look over Tom Hiddleston's skinny twink body. Am I even allowed to make these jokes about a real person? Oh well, too late. S tier. When I looked up Marvel Rivals Penny to find a good image of what she looks like, this was the first thing that popped up. Maybe my mind is just too far gone, but that is an interesting pose she's doing in that thumbnail. Isn't she a minor? Why does every one of these types of games gotta have a character like this? I can't even tell if this was intentional or not. I just know that some of these artists are gonna feast with this. I'll give this Thirst Trap tier. The mech on the other hand is really cool looking actually, S tier. I might just be cooked. Is this their strategy to compete with Overwatch? To out waifu them? Because I don't think they're winning that competition. Also mom, if you're still watching this, please disregard everything I said about this and the last character. Thank you. They're trapped here. Okay, I actually like magic. And no, not for that reason. I first found out about her in the Marvel Snap card game, and I think she's cool. Look, I even have the Funko Pop. Does that help me beat the allegations? I like the big sword, and I think she's cool, and I'm glad she's in this game, so she can have a more mainstream appeal. S tier. Demon magic on the other hand, all I'll say, she got me acting up. Thirst trap tier. I like the comic accurate versions of the Guardians, honestly, and I like this. The hair is super cool looking. A tier. Aquaman, the deep? What's with all these fish- People. <sighs> Tell me about it. I am exactly like Homelander. in this situation every time I see no more. I'm done with these fish people, especially these companies trying to make them mainstream. But no more in this game, thirst trapped here. You can't tell me it's not. Next up, we have Groot. Like I said with Rocket, I kind of like the more comic accurate adaptations of the Guardians and I think this is pretty cool. He's kind of scarier, which makes it better with the whole heart of gold thing. 
like Beauty and the Beast type stuff. But I'm sure in that movie, a pretty significant amount of people thought that the Beast was cuter and more attractive thing in that movie. Not me though, I'm just saying, I think that like a lot of people thought that the Beast in that movie was pretty cute and a large, like he was a large amount of people's furry awakening. Okay, I got way off track. I, I was just talk. what was I talking about? Groot, Groot. He's pretty attractive. Cool, he's pretty cool looking. A tier. Hella's design is actually pretty sick in this game. I mean, the flaming cape is just so cool looking. S tier. Ah, yes. The Punisher. A regular guy on steroids. I'm just kidding. I don't actually know. But he looks like it, so I'll give him B tier. They're really trying to compete with, like, Genshin Impact and everything. Like, I do like this adaptation of Storm, though. So I'll give it A tier. I totally would put this in Thirst Trap tier, but the antenna things are kind of a non-starter for me. So, I guess I'll just put it in C tier. Sorry, but they really couldn't do what Fortnite did. They really couldn't just give him the comic accurate costume. I guess they gotta sell that as a costume. Old Man Magneto is fine, but honestly, the gray is just so bland. D tier. Okay, Scarlet Witch, I see you. I see what you're doing. And I see that the Marvel Rivals character designers, they also knew what they were doing. I love red color schemes, and this looks better than the MCU version. This honestly looks better than the comic version. S tier. This is the one time that I don't prefer the comic accurate versions of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, Star-Lord in this game is not really hitting the same. The movie version is always gonna be better. This is just not it fam. D tier. Venom looks so good and I'll be frank, kissable in this game. No, but they did him really well in this game. They nailed the symbiote. S tier. Adam Warlock's design on the other hand is pretty bland to me and i get that the character of adam warlock is supposed to be like a robot but it does look pretty lifeless d tier did you really think i was gonna put jeff the baby land shark in anything other than s tier he could be the ugliest most hideous creature on the face of the earth and he would still be in s tier thor's design is decent i mean it's thor I'm just not the biggest fan of medieval looking characters, so... B tier. Doctor Doom's design in this game is a masterpiece. He is strong and dominant, and this design shows all of it. His proportions alone, this design goes hard. You can't tell me different. S tier. And finally, we have the one, the only, Galacta. Yeah, I'll give this smash tier. I'm just saying they knew what they were doing when they added this. But no, if they keep adding characters like this, they'll definitely be more popular than Overwatch in one way, if you know what I mean. I'm sorry, Mom.